I am Anil Kumar. We are exploring complex numbers in rectangular form. In this video, we will discuss how to find product of roots. Well, you know, if you have square root of A times square root of B, you could always write this as square root of A times B, right? But what happens when you have square root of minus A times square root of minus B? What is that equal to? That is a big question to answer, right? So remember, square root of A times square root of B equals to A dot B is correct for real numbers. Okay, but when we have negative within the square root, in that case, this equation is not valid. So in that case, when you write this as minus A times minus p it is incorrect it is not valid so this is very important to understand so how to solve equations which will involve uh, negative within the square root so we'll take few examples and then work it out for example we have uh, let's say minus 4 times let's take very simple minus 25 correct what is this equal to? Now, minus 4 square root, we know that square root of minus 1 is equal to i. Now, that helps to solve these equations, correct? So, minus 4 square root could be written as 2i times minus 25 square root can be written as 5i, correct? So, this is equal to 5 times 2 as 10 i square and i square we know is minus 1 right so this is equal to 10 times minus 1 which is minus 10 correct so that is the answer for minus square root of 4 times minus 25 now suppose you would have multiplied this you would have got 100 right with a positive sign 100 with a positive sign would have given you 10 plus as your answer that would have been a wrong answer correct so that is why it's a word of caution you should remember that we cannot do it when we're talking about complex numbers we have a solution in real numbers there is no solution for this right so 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 this is not valid when you're talking about real numbers since we cannot find square root of negative one in the set of real numbers so this equation is not valid right i hope that's clear now let's take a few more examples. So let's take minus 6 times square root of, let us say, minus 8. Now what we can do here is we can write this as i times square root of 6. Since square root of minus 1 is i times i times square root of 8, right? Now we could write this as i square, square root of 6 times 8 as as 48 right so you could multiply now since we do not have the negative sign within the square root and i square is negative 1 in this particular case minus 48 to find what this value is we could always write this in terms of perfect square right you could have split 6 as 2 times 3 and this is 4 times 8, right? So we have this as, you could write 48 as 16 times 3, right? So 16 times 3 is 48. So we could write this as minus. Square root of 16 is 4, square root 3. Do you see that? So that is how you could solve this particular question. Now, if you would have multiplied these two numbers, you would have got plus 48 and you would have missed this sign. Now, in fact, this multiplication would have been wrong. The rule of multiplying the inside of radical sign is only valid when we do not have negative signs inside, okay? So that is very important to understand. So let me take one more example, and that is to say, if we have square root of uh, minus, uh, let us say minus, uh, minus 4 whole square now square root of minus 4 whole square now if we have it like this 
in that case, well, minus is also squared, right? So in this case, it will be 16 plus because we are squaring minus 4, right? So we indeed have square root of 16 and the answer is 4 for us. Is that okay? So the answer is 4 for us, a positive number. However, if I would have written this equation in a different form, that is to say, if I would have written this as square root of minus 4 square, see the difference. Minus sign is not squared here, right? So, so in that case, we will write this as equal to i, i is square root of negative number, and then square root of 16, which is 4 squared. I could have directly written also as 4i, right? So, so have a careful look at these examples to really understand that within the square root, if you have negative sign, how to work with it. I hope this set of four examples illustrate the correct way of working when you have negative signs within the square root. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos to understand these concepts. Thank you and all the best.